A group known as Voice of Humanitarian Aids Foundation, a support group for persons affected with leprosy, is raising awareness on the need to do away with the old narrative towards people living with leprosy. The group spoke in commemoration of the World Leprosy Day 2022. Our correspondent Jacinta Obuku went on a fact-finding mission on leprosy and its myths. According to Minister of State for Health, Dr. Olaunimbe Mamura, about 18 states in the Federation are still endemic, with more than 1,000 new leprosy cases yearly. He explained that the number of new leprosy cases detected yearly has significantly dropped from over 7,827 in 1994 to less than 2,000 in 2020. The Voice of Humanitarian Aids Foundation took to the streets to match against the ostracization of people affected by leprosy. Not about changing the narrative. At her office, the National Coordinator of Voice of Humanitarian Aids, Franca M. Corbum, shared the group's experiences on the field with people affected by leprosy. Even we that are even speaking up for them, sometimes, you know, it it wasn't easy for our families and our friends to even accept, you know, that <laughs> what we are doing is not, is not risky. They are even afraid to come close to me. They are scared. They initially, they say, oh, no, 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 no. We don't want you and this, your leprosy people, please. Franca maintained that discriminating against the people with leprosy in itself is a deadly disease. Already they are in pain. Already they are in sorrow. We should not add to that sorrow by discriminating against them. Rather, we should, you know, come together as, you know, people of God, one nation, one love, one family. Dr. Yohen Akase is the head of infectious diseases at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Luth. He confirmed that leprosy is not contagious. With leprosy, the truth of the matter is that over 90% of people in fact, that's a conservative estimate, to be honest. But over 90% of people who get exposed to leprosy are not going to have leprosy. Okay? So, yes, it's not such a contagious infectious disease in the context of how we look at contagion. That oh, if somebody has leprosy touches you, you're going to get leprosy. In fact, it's well known that um, there are a certain, you know, for lack of a better word, genetic predispositions to getting, not everybody is going to get leprosy, even if they get exposed to that. Picking somebody who has really had a deformity at that time to keep him isolated, is, I mean, it's, it, apart from the fact that it's, it's not interrupting the chain of transmission, it, it has, you know, it, it, like you said, it, it entrenches the concept of stigma, denies them of being productive, being rehabilitated and getting on with their lives, living a normal life as possible. And also, generally, just, you know, doesn't achieve much, to be honest. Jim Mohammed is a survivor of leprosy. He was affected at the age of 19 when he gained admission into Amadou Bello University, but could not continue his studies. That was 1999, the first time I just detected that I was, I got a leprosy, because I don't even know that it's a leprosy before. I was just told that I have some power patches in my body. Which I was just think that is just be a real one. They are calling it a last a gebeni. And I went to the some people that are selling the herbs that okay, I need the herbs for this thing and they give it to me and I'm using it. After using it, I don't even see any changes. That is why why my mom just took me to one Abalist, which we are calling the Balao, and the man just said that this one is leprosy. The father of three recalled how he battled with discrimination. During that time, I have some challenges with some maybe neighbors, even in where I'm living with my mom. One of the person that, well, the owner of the house, because we rented that house by then, we just said that, ah, um, this one, we have to remove, you know, take it outside because. His father has house. Then maybe you should go to his father's house. Don't let me lie to you. My faith is not solely by them. But I was just thinking, asking God, why me? 
The survivor is the chairman of the Association of People Affected with Leprosy and the PRO of the national body. He is particular about ensuring that nobody with leprosy ends up as a beggar on the streets. Jacinta Ubioko for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.